In today's vlog, I'm going to show you everything that's happened in there and everything we're trying to do out here. We've had actually had um, had to go to the council and ask them for building permission. Yes. So everything we've been trying to do out here is, as you can see, this house is fairly bare at the minute. Um, yes, we're getting the house rendered, but as you know, this year the British um, the British weather has been rather crap. And so we've not really been able to render. It's been rain, rain, rain. And with rendering, it takes about two to three weeks. It's currently nice skies, as you can see, but it's, uh, it's supposed to rain again in a couple of days. And I have to pay for scaffolding for the whole house. Around there, all the way up 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 there, and around the side. So, that's putting a bit of a down on but what I have done in since uh, the last video is um, I had 10 conifers al along there which I ripped out myself and we put in these nice plants here and and we put fresh new fencing in all the way along here the only difference with the fencing it is that and well the, the ones that created it made it 32 inches after I asked them for 30 inches so I had to cut it down I don't know how thick you can be when you multiple and you tell them multiple times 30 inches and they make it 32 so I had to get my circular saw and slice it all the way down there and then I had to um, get a piece of wood as you can see as you can see there put some wedges into into all these different bits as well to stop it from shaking in the wind um, I've got to do a bit more, a bit more, um, a bit more trimming of this tree, as you can see. It's a bit um, tall, and in the winter, when it, when it, when the leaves come off, I'm going to do a bit more trimming of it. But originally, I was quoted over a thousand pounds to um, to trim all the bush up there, to trim all this bush, to trim this, to take, to trim that down, take the conifers out. But I, then I went and bothered, bothered my mum's. Um, chainsaw and spent 20 quid on a new on a new chain and i bought a trimmer for this which was about um about 100 quid and i bought a um a harness so i could harness myself onto the top of the tree for about 45 quid so effectively for 200 quid i and did it myself i trimmed it all myself rather than spending over a thousand pound so that's the moral of the story not don't always get trades and do things yourself so that's what we've done out here. It looks a lot, a lot better, as you can see. Um, when you try and sell your house, don't uh, don't forget about your front and back garden, because the, 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 um, the three things that sells any house is your kitchen, your bathroom, and your gardens. If you don't look after your front garden, the place where people walk into your garden and get introduced to your house first, at first you're not going to sell your house because basically people look at what their what their the front garden is. And where's me? I would think, oh, I can do a lot with this house because it might be bugged with the front garden, but whatever. But most people don't see past what they see. They don't have the vision to see what they can do with the front garden. The welcoming to a house says everything about your house, about the owner. Why? If you're not going to do, if you're not going to keep your garden looking nice, why would the why would the house be nice? So that's what's happened out here. This is what we're going to do here. We're going to render this whole house. I'm just waiting for the weather to stay nice for a good couple of weeks. And as you can see, they've got the the nice French windows that we we actually had these put in ourselves originally. If you look at the past vlogs, if you look at past vlogs. Um, there was a door there and a window there. We had it taken out completely and we had it put in beautifully. So we actually had a barbecue here uh, a few months ago. It was amazing inside, outside living. It was great and actually quite often we actually sit out here and eat our tea, cook it, take in some rays when it's not raining. Nice architrave. And as you can see, look at this banister. It's an original banister. I'd like to put um, like a bobble on the end there so it looks nice. We've got original banister here. Um, there's the little rabbits finally able to be together. Um, 
So I'll take you upstairs and show you just what's happened since the last vlog. I haven't vlogged much because I've been having dealings with the car, I've been running a lot. Um, there's a vlog about my car, what was wrong with it and how I fixed it. Um, um, as you can see this banister comes all the way up here and then stops here. We don't like that, so we think it looks crap. So what we're planning to do is, we're planning to rip this out and this out, keeping this little pole here and putting it at the very top pole there. And then we're planning to get find some more of this have it coming around, swooping around and all the way up there and to be fair, to put the, to put the little poles, it's just a load of squares so I can do that, I can do that myself so we're planning on making this, this uh, stairway this uh, plan is to go all up there to make it look lovely and here it's been plastered it looks good as you've, as you've probably seen before, it looks good um, this isn't been painted because we are going to be um, wallpaper in that she's just got to decide what wallpaper she wants and up there's gonna be all wallpapered as well obviously I, I put that um, loft hatch in which has got a ladder attached to it and I also boarded the loft and re-insulated it so if you want to go on my channel and have a look at how I installed that loft hatch we've had actually had um, had to go to the council and ask them for building permission and for not building, building regulations to make sure what we've had done is building regulations because but what I have done is we've um, now put in a V-Lux. Now I know I originally said we we're going to put a Dharma in to make it more to make it more of a uh, a square room. But a Dharma costs twenty five thousand pounds apparently, and I'm sorry, but I'm not paying twenty five thousand pounds for a slightly bit more of headroom and. I'm not going to live here for the next five, six, seven, ten years. Um, this would be good for a playroom, an office, a teenager's bedroom if they want their own little area. It can, it is big enough for a double bed because you can literally. I'm going to put some um, some cupboards in here. I'm going to build that and put some cupboards there. But if you put, think about it, you put a little cupboards there and there and a little blank there. You put them. You put the headboard and the bed up against there. It comes out about here. The bed then when you lay down you're there anyway when you get up you're into there so it's a perfect bedroom I put these uh, spotlights in myself bit of a uh, make gooding and stuff um, plastering up there I've done I did this all this I did this plastering myself I plasterboarded it it needs a bit more of a second coat so it needs a bit more of a, uh, a, a sanding and but I pla it was it was left open. I plasterboarded it. I put some nice um, metal strips down, as you can see. I can't see it, can you? I put some anyway. I put some strips down of it because of, of this because um, basically I did put a bit plasterboard and then plastered it. Made it all nice and looking good, but I wasn't happy with it. So I went to B and Q and got and got some of these. Everyone knows plastering. You got these are edging strips. I got a couple of those. I put those all the way around the edges um, and then plastered it again one just on the edges like I said I have done quite a bit of stuff myself so this is the biggest impact we've had in the past few months it's been so hard to get a roofer to do this and we got bill of regulations out to check it they were happy with it they just basically opened the um, opened up the window knocked on a few of the slates and said yep you're good we'll, uh, we'll I'll, I'll, I'll put the, the, the notice through and then I, but I obviously, because it's, um, I wanted to make it, I wanted to plasterboard it to make it look nice and so they couldn't say, oh no, it looks crap. So that's looking okay. We just need to put, um, we do need to put a, 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 a blackout blind on there. And I'm gonna put, then I'm gonna put these on properly, in properly once I've, once I've painted it all and sanded it. Now that lot, it looks lovely. So that's the main thing to this, we've done to this house so far. So what can I say? Um, Thanks again for watching, uh, thank you and see you all soon, bye bye.